Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the hard drive on your PlayStation 4. So if you have the older PlayStation 4 that has the glossy finish right here on this side, don't worry, you can follow these instructions, it should be practically the same. But first let me tell you why I finally decided to upgrade the hard drive on the PlayStation 4. So this is my console gaming system. So I have the PlayStation 4 paired with the Asus PG279Q gaming monitor, which I also use for my PC. If you're wondering about these headphones here, these are my Monolith M1060s from Monoprice with the custom 3D printed grills. So lately I started playing Ghost Recon Wildlands on PS4 and one thing I noticed is that in order to install this game I have to delete some other games because I just ran out of space. My PS4 has a 500GB hard drive which is just not enough. Also while playing multiplayer with my friends, loading times every time I got killed were just too long. So I finally decided to upgrade to a Samsung 1TB SSD drive, which is going to give me a lot more space and is going to be much faster than the drive that's in the PlayStation 4. So all you're going to need to upgrade your computer is your new drive. So I definitely recommend getting an SSD drive over the old standard hard drives. Because the SSD drive is going to help to speed up your load times. And then you're going to need a USB flash drive with at least 1 gig of space that's free. And finally you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Alright, so if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'll put links to them down in the description below. Alright, so now let's get into removing the old hard drive and installing the new solid state drive. Okay, so removing the old hard drive from the PlayStation 4 is actually pretty easy. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do to open your PlayStation 4 is you're going to want to lay it flat with the top facing up. And this is the front of the PlayStation 4 here. And then you're going to want to pull this part of the PlayStation 4 towards you. And you'll kind of see it open up like this. So what you're going to want to do is go to this right top hand corner here and lift up a little bit. And then it should come off easily as you see here. So that's how you take off the top cover. Okay, so the hard drive is located right here under this metal plate here. What we're going to do is we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and we're going to undo this screw right here. That's going to allow us to pull the hard drive tray right out. Okay, so the screw is out and you're going to want to pull this tray out. As you can see here, this contains the old hard drive. Okay, so we're going to have to remove the hard drive from this tray by removing these four screws. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove these four screws here. Now this side. Okay, once all four screws are removed, you're going to want to go ahead and pull the drive out just like this. So I did want to point out one thing. Notice that the new solid state drive is much thinner than the old hard drive. This means that it's going to float a little bit on the tray, but that's okay. There's no moving parts in here, so it shouldn't matter. So what you want to do is put the top of the drive facing down onto the tray. And these ports are going to be sticking out on this side. So just like this. And what I recommend is that you put the tray down just like this, because what happens when you Put the tray down, it's going to help you to find the screw holes in there to make it much easier for you to screw on. Alright, so let's get started with putting these screws in. So again, if you lay it down flat, you'll be able to see the screw holes easily and you can screw it right in. So I recommend you don't screw it all the way, leave it a little bit loose. That way it makes it easier to screw on the other side. Again, leave it a little bit loose. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Finally, go ahead and screw this one all the way tight. Okay, make sure that's tight. Tighten this one up. Okay, flip it over. Tighten this one. And Finally tied in the last one. Ok, 
Okay, so when you're done, it should look like this. So there is a gap between the bottom of the tray and the drive. No worries, it'll be just fine. So the bottom of the drive should be showing and then the port should be on this side. And then what you're gonna do is flip it over just like this. Okay, so once it's flipped over like this, this bottom piece here where you're gonna screw it on should be on the right side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it back in the tray. Should slide right in. There we go. So if it doesn't go in all the way, you don't see this uh, screw hole here. That means maybe you put the drive backwards. So just make sure it goes in. Should go in smoothly as you saw when I did it. Finally, you're gonna put the screw back in there. So now to finish off the installation of the new drive, we're gonna want to put the cover back. So you're gonna wanna place the cover right around here. You're gonna wanna slide this left side in first. And then the right, you'll hear it kinda like snap into place. Okay, so once you get to this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and push it up. And once it's there, then you're done. You're not gonna hear a really a click or anything, so. There you go, you can stand it up just to make sure. Okay, but we're not done yet. We're gonna have to get our flash drive and get on our computer and download the latest PlayStation 4 firmware software onto this flash drive so that we can restore it on the new drive that we just installed on the PS4. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do first is open up your favorite web browser and go to the website you see here on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down to this website down in the description below. So you can just go ahead and click on that there and it'll take you to this page. And this page is gonna tell you the steps you're gonna need to prepare your flash drive so that you can load the latest firmware to your PlayStation 4 on the new drive that you just installed. So looking through the steps here, you're gonna need a USB flash drive with at least one gigabyte of free space. Next, you're gonna wanna insert the USB flash drive onto your computer and you're gonna wanna create a folder called PS4 right in the root of the drive. So it needs to be capital. So capital P, capital S, then the number four. Now you're gonna go inside of that folder and create another folder called update and again that needs to be capitals then you're going to proceed to download the update file once you've saved the file make sure it's named ps4 update.pup and it also should be capitalized okay so now let's go ahead and do that ourselves we're going to go ahead and plug in our usb flash drive onto the, our computer okay so once i inserted the flash drive you should go to that drive letter and for me it's going to be the d drive so as you can see i already have some files here no worries just go ahead and create that ps4 folder and remember it needs to be capitalized okay so you're going to go ahead and double click to go in that folder now you're going to create a second folder called update and it should be capitalized as well Okay, so we're gonna wanna go into this update folder and this is where we're gonna save our ps4update.pup file. So go ahead and go on this website and click here to download now. So as you can see, it's downloading the file from the PlayStation website. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is copy the file, you just download it over to your flash drive. So just right click on it and hit copy. So now you're gonna wanna go to your flash drive drive letter, then your PS4 folder, and then inside of your update folder, you're gonna go ahead and paste the file. Okay, now that the file is copied onto your flash drive, you're gonna wanna go ahead and eject your flash drive, and then you're gonna take it over to your PlayStation 4 and plug it into one of the front USB ports. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so now let's go to the next step, which is plugging in your PlayStation 4 back and plug it into your monitor. You're gonna take your USB flash drive that has the PlayStation 4 firmware software on it, and you're gonna plug it into one of the front USB ports on the PlayStation 4. Make sure that the PlayStation 4 is not on yet. Make sure everything's off. You're also gonna need the micro USB cable that came with your controller. You're gonna need to do this part with the controller plugged into the PS4 through the wire. So go ahead and take your controller, plug in the micro USB side to the controller back here. And then you're gonna plug in the full size USB. Okay, so once you have your PlayStation 4 controller plugged in with the wire, and the USB plugged in, go ahead and power on your PlayStation 4. So now we see our PlayStation 4 booting up with the new solid state drive in there. So it's gonna give you this message that it cannot start the PS4. 
Okay, so now you're gonna wanna press the PS button on your PlayStation 4 controller. Okay, so now you should be in safe mode, as you can see here. So it's gonna ask you to connect a USB flash drive that contains version 5.50 or later of the PlayStation 4 firmware. So since we have our flash drive with the firmware in there, we're gonna go ahead and go to OK. In order to do that, you can't use the analog sticks. You're gonna have to use the arrow. So you're gonna wanna use the right arrow to go to the right and go ahead and hit X for OK. So you're gonna have to wait a few moments while it installs the firmware from the flash drive. So you can take a small break now while it does this. Okay, so it's gonna give you a warning here. It's saying that all the data on the drive will be erased. Do you wanna go ahead and continue? Since there's nothing on the drive, since it's brand new, we're gonna go ahead and go to yes. And again, you have to use these arrows here, then click X, and it's gonna say initializing, and you won't wanna turn off your PS4 at this point. Okay, so it's gonna go through a few steps to load the firmware on the new drive. Okay, so as you can see here, it is installing the firmware on the new drive right now. Okay, so once you get to this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get your wired controller and press the PlayStation button. So now that the PlayStation 4 has the firmware software installed, you're gonna wanna go through and set up your PlayStation 4. And there you have it folks, that's how to upgrade the hard drive on your PlayStation 4. If this video helped you out, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. I'm a small YouTuber and it would really help me out a lot. Alright, I'll see you all next time.